What shall I do this morning? Okay, let's take another caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, long time listener, first time caller. Hey there, so far we've had a lot of positive feedback on this new German government. What do you think, Mr... Uh... Franchak, just Franchak. I think H.T. Lars should be ousted from government and thrown out of Luxembourg. Those are some pretty extreme views, Mr. Franchak. Bah, if you only knew him as we do here at the UN. Bloody cheeky Frank. Oh, shut up, you Schweinhund. <laughs> Ach, mein Lieben, first of the month, got a call, SDLN. Hello, your friendly neighborhood communist dictator speaking. Hello, my brother, what's up with you? My physician thinks I might have something lodged in my inner ear. That's just fantastic, SDLN, you've made my fucking day. What's up your fascist arse this morning? It's the bastard United Nations again, they're giving me the shits. That's a shame. What's that? Babushka. You want me to do what? Look, brother, I have got to... Attend to something. Speak with you later, comrade. Yeah, goodbye. Bah, I'm going for a walk. Tell me what you think of the top suey. It looks good to me! I just can't get enough of this stuff. Uh, you didn't see a thing. Okay, whatever. I don't really give a fuck, you fat bastard. Hmm, you can almost taste that Luxembourg breakfast waffle. Just over this hill and... What? Nine, it cannot be. Could it? Nine! Hey, this book is really good. Oh, Zan, stop masturbating. You're gonna be late for work. Ah, what a perfect day. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Oh, sorry, sir. I've got to tell you, the elevator's broken. Well, who would have fucking guessed? Listen up, slaves. You slimy bastards are here because I need to sell rugs at 50 to 80. Yes, 80% off. You're gonna work, and if you don't, I'm gonna whip ya. Like, fuck, I'm gonna make rugs for you. That's it. Your ass. My whip. Now. I hate you, HDLR! Hey, Limtik, sir. Ah, Limtik, get over here. Now, Limtik, this is going to hurt the wall a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Ouch! Fuck! Uh, I can't feel my feet. Yeah, you get that. You! Work harder! There's only so much a man can do with one arm, you know. No excuses! These rugs are paying for our next advertisement. Call a glass of water! Here, have a whip instead. More effort, Meagle! You slack, Scottish, fuck! No fucking way, you Nancy. What did you say?! I said yes, sir, I will put in more effort. Alright then. I can't take it anymore! I've gotta get out of this hellhole! Are you alright? Shut up and work! No! What the fuck did you say? I'm not putting up with this shit anymore! Sounds like someone wants a whipping. Go on, whip me, you bitch! My fucking pleasure! <gasps> you fucking bastard! That really hurt! Time for me to fuck off. <laughs>
came as soon as I heard, sir. Excellent work, San. What happened to Limdick? I think he might be dead. Can you find out? Oi, Limdick. In this jar are 20 genital crabs. If you don't wake up, I'll release them in your pants. <coughs> nah, sir, he's alive. Oh, great. First things first, though, Zan. Destroys this abomination. Will do, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, why won't the damn thing break down? Gustav, call my brother and ask for a nuke. I urge you to reconsider, my Führer. Just fucking do it! Hold on, Gustav. Gustav, put down the phone. Jamo. Sorry I'm late for work, HDLR. This darned wall was blocking my front door. No need to apologize, Mr. Moss. Good work. Does this mean I get a raise? Don't push your luck, Yankee. No, sir. Come, gentlemen, back to HQ. We have much to discuss. What's wrong, Sergeant? There's been a breach in the wall near Esch. Those bloody Germans. How did they get through? Apparently, the alarm was triggered from outside of the wall. How can this be? Execute all our spies in the area. We can't do that, sir. The UN stands for democracy and fairness. I've had enough of you throwing the book at me, front chap. Just sit down and shut up. Now, bring me Agent Tilly. Uh, sorry, sir. We rejected him on the grounds he was too fat. Then bring me Agent Simon. Oh no, not Agent Simon! Oh yes, Agent Simon, you fucking limey. Welcome, gentlemen, and thanks for coming at such short notice. Now let me explain. Oh, now let me explain. Sam! Sam, are you in there? Damn it, Sam, let's see the bitch in! Coming, ma'am! Right. As I was saying, we called this meeting at such short notice that I forgot the regular briefing room was being fumigated. Oh, I can tell Quiet, you! Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Yes, I think we can do without that. Now, gentlemen, as you are no doubt aware, someone has constructed a great big wall right down the center of Luxembourg. Zan, what do we know about the wall so far? There's a letter in front of you. Read it. Very well. Wolfgang Schnitzelheimer of Ettelbrack writes, I woke up one morning to find one half of my wife on one side of this fucking wall and the other half on the other. Please help me. Well, Schnitzy, I think your wife is just too fat. Oh, Mum. Oh, Sam. Shit, Mum, you're always embarrassing me like this. You watch your mouth, Sam. My God, this silliness has to stop now. This is not Beauty and the Beast. Oh, sorry, HTLR. Right, carry on, Sam. So, as far as we can tell, the wall splits the whole country right down the middle. It's totally invulnerable to German artillery and has blocked off all communication with West Luxembourg. But we have had a small success, haven't we, Mr. Moss? Affirmative, sir. The wall is no match for American armor. And this has led us to believe that the solution is simply to import weapons from other countries and mount a full counterattack on the wall. Unfortunately, this poses a problem. Germany is under UN embargoes from every nation in the world, except two. That's right. Russia and France. Russian tanks are still using our own antiquated Mark I technology. So we're going to have to grovel to this friends if we want to defeat this giant hunk of stone. Oh, Zan, don't make a fool of yourself in front of the French! Rest assured, Fishwife, I mean, uh, Zan's mum, I have a surprise for all of you. <coughs> okay, I'm done now. Fucking Meikle! You stole my Corvette! That's it. Time to bring out the heavy artillery. A surprise? What exactly? Gentlemen, ever since I ejected Baron von Mikkel from my mighty army, I have been training a new Baron to take his place. Now, with the death of Baron von Limtik, the time has come for him to start work. Gentlemen, I give you... Baron von Pringle! Jesus Christ, what's wrong with his face? Oh, Zan, don't make fun of the new guy! Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, Pringle. Monkeys. Hold on, hold on. What the heck does this guy have to do with getting us an army of new tanks? You shut. Moss, read the back of the tube. Oh, yeah, you got French connections, haven't you? Wee, oui, Bruce. But his name's not Bruce. Don't get started with that, please. 
Right then, Baron von Pringle, I believe you have some tanks to order for us, yeah? Oh, great. Excellent. Zan, let's hear your battle plan. Hold on, sir. Very well. Mum, promise me you won't interrupt me during the plan. Okay, Zan. Right. Well, everyone, it's pretty simple. We transport the tanks to our headquarters here in Luxembourg, then we move out to strategic places along the wall. Zen what? Then we blast the shit out of it. Any questions? Yeah, Zan, how do we stop this from happening again? How do we find out how that wall got there? Now that's going to be a long and difficult process, so I'm giving that job to the new Baron. Do you think he's ready for that kind of job? Don't you question my son! Oh, Mum! Oh, Zan! Oh, Mum, I told you not to fucking interrupt me! You promised! Fuck this! I'm out of here! It's not a moment too soon. The meeting is adjourned. See you all in three days when the tanks arrive. Sir! Yes, what is it? We have a team of builders repairing the wall as we speak. Excellent. Carry on, General. Sir, yes, sir. Right, now where was I? You were about to tell us how you were planning to find out what those goddamn Germans are up to. Oh, yes. There is only one way to get information out of the Germans, and that's with extreme force. It's such a shame we had to let Tilly go. He was so good at providing extreme force. But we have a secret weapon, gentlemen. Yes, it's Mr. Cree. Shut up, front chap. I'm running the sentence here. <coughs> yes, what is it? Someone to see you, sir. Is he carrying a shotgun? Is he looking a bit thin around the... well, all around? Yes. All right, let him in. <laughs> Fellow peacekeepers, I give you Simon Green, freelance hitman, political puppet, and United Nations spy. <laughs> oh ho, that guy is really pissed off. So fucking right, Frenchie. Calm down, Agent Simon. This is a briefing, not a bloodbath. Agent Simon, I am dispatching you to Die Kirch. I want you to get over the wall, get into the German headquarters and find out what those Nancy bastards are up to. Ready when you are, Mr. Anon. Alright, now get in the paper bag. Front chap, how much is it going to cost us to mail him there? About 15 Deutschmarks, sir. I hope it's bloody tax deductible. Welcome back to Young Chap. Despite an attempt by the United Nations to build a new Central European Economic Centre, the European Union, as ever, remains on strike. We speak to EU heavyweight Kevin Reynolds. Five million dollars worth of Lebanese rugs must be sold immediately. Craig Wicks is being ordered. All rugs, minimum 150% off. We pay you to buy our bollocks. Every rug must be sold. Big rugs, small rugs, rolls of fucking carpet will be cleared by 9am. Do not miss out. All stock will be sold. All records will be burned. You will not leave the showroom. Craig Wicks needs slaves. Offer ends this weekend. Do not miss this ridiculous offer. Craig Wicks demands sacrifice. Buy cheap rugs or he'll never forgive you. Open 5am. Where? Rugs a million. That's it.